Octavio is from West Orange, New Jersey, and he asks, do you still wish LeBron competed in a dunk contest? Obviously, LeBron has never, ever done a single dunk contest. Octavio. This is yet another reason LeBron is disqualified from any GOAT debate. Michael Jordan participated in three dunk contests. The great Dominique Wilkins, the human highlight film, did four dunk contests. Clyde Drexler, my man Clyde, did five. Dwight Howard did four in his days, his glory days. Paul George did two. Kobe did his one, and he was great. Giannis did his one, and he was great. And LeBron did his none. His none? I believe the beginning of the end of the dunk contest as we knew and loved it, I used to live for it, happened in LeBron's first three or four years when he continued to refuse to participate in the dunk contest. His apologists, his defenders that I debated on TV kept telling me, well, he's an in-game dunker. He's a power dunker. It doesn't translate to trick dunks to win a dunk contest. I also heard that Nike feared that he would lose the dunk contest and, and maybe lose a little of his cachet as a sneaker salesman. To all the above, I say baloney. LeBron is a power dunker, but he's a highlight dunker, man. Even now at 37, does he not bring down the house with his breakaway tomahawk dunks? He's a contest dunker in game. LeBron James at, at age 20 or 21 or 22, whenever in that period, he would have run away with a dunk contest because the judges would have just made sure he did. LeBron, you got to give back to the game that helped make you. You, you got to give him one dunk contest, and he wouldn't. And my, my theory from the start has been the same about his free throw shooting. He fears standing there alone at the free throw line with the world watching him, handshaking, having to make, you know, the one out of two to tie or the two out of two to tie, or the other night, as we saw at Golden State, three out of three to tie. It's just not what he's made of. And I think the dunk contest followed similar lines because it's scary out there. Man, you got the whole world watching you by yourself try to create something that will bring down the house. LeBron could have just been himself. He's six feet, nine inches tall. He's maybe 270 now, but in those days he was more 240-ish, 245. You don't think he can get up? He can get way up. You don't think he would have won a dunk contest? Stop it. He would have won his one and done. And that would have been fine with me. And then the next death knell in the wake of LeBron was Blake Griffin. This is all the way back in 2011. You remember what happened? He jumped over a car. <laughs> well, <laughs> once a human jumps over a car to win the dunk contest, it's just, it's over. How can you top that? So we keep watching and hoping somebody will come up with something. And we had to go through the other night. Cole Anthony let it off. He wore Tim's. Okay. It's clever, I guess, but it didn't do a lot for me. He wore Tim's. They're much heavier than sneakers. So it's a little harder to get up in Tim's. Still jumping over the even the hood of a car. I, no, I'm sorry. And poor Jalen Green the other night. I love Jalen Green. I do believe he's going to be better than Cade Cunningham. And, and Jalen tries and he tries and he tries and he tries. And you know what happened. It was just so painful to watch. It was embarrassing for him. It was embarrassing for us watching. And I can just tell you that my wife Ernestine and I, we're, we're to the point we live for the three-point shootout. It, it's what we, it, it's our whole night is built around the three-point shootout because there are no judges. It's real simple. Either the ball goes in or it does not. She's become a big basketball fan. She's not the most knowledgeable, but she can just see it went in. It didn't go in. And as we build up to the last rack, maybe it's the money ball. She can just see the score mounting or not mounting. 
make it, make it, make it. She loves Patty Mills because we're Spurs fans. Patty sort of flamed out quickly the other night. But it's always great because great shooters do it because it's not that hard. It doesn't take that much out of you. And there's not that much room for embarrassment. It's not as much a solo act. You don't have to come up with any act or shtick or bit. You just shoot it. And if you lose, you lose, and nobody's going to hold it against you. It's just great. And now the slam dunk contest is a thing of the past. It's passe. It's, it's over. And I wish they would just flip the order because the other night, the dunk contest was the worst ever. You know it, and I know it. And it was an anti-climax. It always takes the life out of the night after the three-point shootout. It has to go last starting next year. It's where the game has gone from the dunk, which used to be it, to the three, which is now it. More games are won. More momentum is swung, obviously, with the three-point shot than the dunk. Not that I, I don't like. I, I love dunks, but I love the threes, the deep threes, the logo threes more. Steph changed the game, revolutionized it from three six feet three from three, as opposed to seven, two point blank slam. So LeBron, I wish you'd just done one. Maybe you'd help save the contest at least for a while, but now it's over and now it's out. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.